Good morning, everyone. So today, uh, Spellbinders has their new uh, kits for March of 2021 out. Um, I have a few here that Spellbinders sent to me free of charge for my review, and all opinions are my own. Any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. Um, so I normally start with the card kit of the month, and then I you know, go in and review the large and then the APG. I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to show you what's here in the card kit, um, and then I have the large die and the APG die is here ready to talk about and then I'm going to work on the large uh, die of the month because I just really want to get to it it's so cute so um, let me open this up so real quickly I'll show you the card kit of the month for uh, March 2021 it's called celebrate spring and your order if you or to pick up a card kit looks just like this and then anything else that comes with it let's say your value club or um, if you order just one of the other clubs it will be tucked inside this box too normally that's how they do that. But um, again, with the clubs, I'll have all the different links. Um, the value clubs obviously have the most value, but if you only want one or two of the other clubs, you can sign up for those. Um, you can cancel and skip very easily in the portal. I have lots of videos about doing that. And um, you do get 10% off the site every day as soon as you become a member within a couple minutes or an hour or so. <laughs> whenever you sign up, it'll uh, reflect in your account whenever you log in. So you'll see the 10% off. And, um, you know, they have perks here and there. So you can check that out, all that information, um, once you click a link there or however you want to get to the site. So um, n another thing they did this month was they went ahead and sent me the uh, stamp of the month, which is really sweet. So this is the March stamp of the month, as you can see. Um, of course, my samples look different. That's why I have it on this board. Or, like, this one doesn't have the carrier. But they all come with a carrier with some ideas and some um, instruction if it's needed. Um, so you'll definitely have that. But... Um, this one is super adorable, just, uh, you know, welcoming spring. Uh, very cute. They are photopolymer. So I will follow up with a review on this one too, but this, I just want to show you, look how sweet the little bunnies are. And how sweet are these when you just kind of give them a little water coloring, just, you know, stamp it in whatever ink you like. And then just a little, add a little color. So cute. All right, so this is the card kit. I'll go through very, rather quickly because the large die does have a lot going on. Um... So uh, we have it here, again, Celebrate Spring. So it always comes with some ideas, which are really sweet. And then this month, um, the die has to do with the little bunny and the little frame and things that you can do with him or her and put around there. So really sweet ideas. Um, I always have an idea sheet. The stamp set that comes with the, um, the uh, card kit. I believe these are acrylic stamps. Let me just double check, because I know people will ask, especially since I pointed out the other ones that were photopolymer. <clears throat> Yes, these are acrylic stamps. Um, they always stamp really well, though, so you'll see that in the review when I get to um, reviewing everything here. I love these kinds of things. I order them on the website um, just on their own, the um, gemstones. But these are kind of, like, faceted, and they have, like, gold leaf on them. So pretty. Love the colors here. So celebrate spring. We have our butterflies, uh, 3D butterflies with the holographic sticker kind of in the background. We always come with our adhesive here, which is really great. <clears throat> uh, the die cut shapes and always tons of die cut shapes. There are hundreds of uh, images in here and it's usually two of each. Uh, card bases, 10 cards and 10 envelopes. Um, the beautiful celebrate spring paper pad. I will quickly flip through this because I'm sure you're curious. I am curious, too. Um, look at the little bunnies. <laughs> Cute. And you know, maybe I'll use some of this on our card today. We will see. I'm not sure. Oh, my God. Look at how cute. Love it. The shamrocks there. Very pretty. Oh, I love that. Flowers. You got your foiling. And then it repeats again. So it's two of each sheet. Um, all the dies, again, for that little bunny, for the frame, for some of the wording it looks like from the stamp set. So we'll get to that uh, when I do the review there. Um, I always call these Jet Puff stickers, but these are more like um, fun foam. I don't know if you can see, they're like foam letters. I can feel that. And then this guy has like a hard coat on it. Really cool. Something different. And then, of course, our coordinating paper pack, which is just beautiful with that gold, double-sided gold paper that we love. Lavender and you know, sea foam colors and light blue and white and pinks, pinks, pinks. <laughs> and the back is a nice little gray. So really pretty. Okay. 
so I took that away. And today we are going to work on the large die of the month, and um, which is called Spring Together with Lever Pull or Lever Pull. Um, Again, mine come in a little plastic bag, so it's a little bit different, but I did print up the um, carrier sheet, which is what you would normally get. It's going to be obviously in color and just beautiful, and then it has all the instructions. So I just printed mine out, so it looks like this, but you'll be getting this um, that carries all your dies. And simple steps to make the cutest card, you guys. You pull this and the little characters move. I know, um, you know, certain sets sometimes sell out. Maybe they'll try and bring them back in, but I think that's one that's uh, really going to go. And then the mini, the uh, APG die of the month is this, and gorgeous. It's a mini 3D vignette floral mason jar. And my goodness, you guys, I know I have a black and white copy here, but how cute is that? I love Becca's vignettes, so you guys already know that. And um, this is, you know, right up there with the little binding edge, and then you can use it however you like. Um, but we have the little mason jar with the lid and the lid even has an opening here so you can do whatever you like you know however you want to do it and look at the flowers the flowers are a really good size I mean, you can see from the size of my hand these are the flowers you know and leaves so really generous and you can use that for any other thing and you have stems here and all that so that I will follow up with but I did want to show them to you in case you're curious right now that it's the first of the month um, if you are signed up for later in the month and you want to switch to the first go ahead and sign up again today right now like on the first and you'll have your club ready to go and then cancel the other uh, club that's the easiest way to do it if you want to change the date because um, they're not going to charge you for the other one until that day right so if you're not until the 15th but you want to switch to the first day go ahead and sign up um, and you'll have you know your two clubs because now you have the club that you just signed up for the plus the one that you had before and then go into your portal and cancel the old one and that'll be the easiest cleanest way to do that and then going forward you'll always be on the first so that's just how I'd handle it, but um, what I'm going to do is grab some papers. I know the first thing I need to do for this one, and we'll talk about it in just a minute, is I need uh, to cut two pieces of paper that are five and a half by four, and so I will do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to leave this down in the corner here, but I do have these, both these pieces, five and a half by four. So you're going to put this on top of a standard H2 size card, or just right on the back, and that is your card, or however you want to work that, but... Um, Five and a half by four kind of mats into a five and a half by four and a quarter card with a little bit of edge on the four and a quarter side, right? Because the five and a half is going to take up the whole width because um, we're going to do it landscape style here. So um, that's something you want to, might want to note. Okay, so on both of these, we're going to cut this little tab. So I do want to talk about this just for a second. These are all the little mechanisms, mechanisms you're going to need. This is the little grass for later. But what I think is really sweet and I'm looking at now is that they have included all the basic stuff but ways to extend it and ways to make it shorter and whatever it is you want to do with this. So that's really cool because we're going to use this piece here, but you also have this extra piece that gives you more if you want to do like a slim line, but you're going to have to lengthen this um, little stick and, you know, we can talk about that in another video. Today I'm going to do the very basic. There's different holes that you can do just on their own. They gave you plenty. They're just giving us a lot of options to play with this. So I think that's really, really great. Um, but for right now, we're just going to need some basic pieces, which is um, this guy. And we're going to need this guy. And this little bracket, just for right now. Uh, but for this first piece, we're going to need this little piece. And this guy, the one that cuts the three. I'm going to put this to the side just because I know it has like a glare. And I don't want to bother your eyes there. So on both of these guys, it says we're going to um, cut this guy. And it says 5 eighths of an inch from the bottom here. So I am going to grab my trusty ruler whenever I find it. It's always hiding because he's very light colored. I'll be right back. Okay, right here. So 5 eighths. So it's just over a half an inch. So five A's. I'm just going to move this over, just kind of running it down because I need to see where I'm putting it. And we'll just take our little tab. And, you know, on the second one, I'm going to use this one as a template so that they're exactly the same. That's about five eighths right there to the bottom. And I'm going to tape that down. And that is on one of them. But we also, on one of them, just need this guy. And um, it's one and a 
and a quarter inch from the bottom. So one and a quarter inch from the bottom. And then just kind of center it is what it looks like. So as far as that part of it. So I want it to be like here and maybe about there. And I can tell you that's about, let's say about, let's see. About an inch from each end. I could probably move it over just a little bit more that way, but I'm just going to leave it where it is. Okay, so the most important part of this guy is the height from the bottom. So you want a one and a quarter inch from the bottom edge. Okay, I'm going to run that through. And on this one, I'm only going to do this little piece. Okay, um, again, five eighths inches from the bottom. Uh, and I'll grab have our very base pieces here. Now this one, like I said, I was going to use this one as a guide. So all I did was stack it up like this. And I placed this here and kind of held on to the back of the card plus the die and then removed this one. So it was very easy to just have in the exact same place. I'm going to put these pieces to the side. Like I said, the other piece that we need right now as we're doing our assembly is um, this little guy. This little guy. We need two of those. And we need our actual puller. And it does recommend to double this up just for sturdiness. So I am going to use some thick paper anyway, and then I'm still going to double it up. So I'm going to cut this from this pearlescent paper I have. So I'm going to cut two of these. Very easy. Just cut two of those out. Uh, from the same light blue paper that I have, I'm going to cut these little guys. And these are what's going to make our little characters move. So um, it's not really visible. It will be behind them, but I'm still going to use the same color paper. And we need two brackets. So I need three of this and two of these little brackets. And I'll be right back. Now I have all the basic pieces here. Uh, all I'm going to do is glue these two together. Now, uh, when gluing these together, basically one side is going to show, and on the back the other side would show. Um, you know, it's up to you how you want to glue them together. There's always a nicer side where the die kind of cut into the paper and then the rough side. You want to glue those back to back so that both sides look nice. That's probably how I would do it, just to, to be cute. <laughs> or you can just glue them one on top of the other, however you want. Um, and that's if you're going to double it up. So I am going to double it up, make it nice and sturdy. I suppose you could even double up these little guys, the pieces that are going to hold your little characters, but um, however you want to do that. I'm just using the one piece. It's going to be well protected inside the card. And you'll see it'll make sense once we get this going. And this is basically the basic mechanism. And then the next part is just putting together our little characters and popping them on top. So I'm going to hold this together till it's set, and I'll be okay, right back. So that's ready to go. Now, I do want to show you, and, you know, uh, number two, after you're doing, you know, the first setup, it says die cut lever pieces assemble, add to back panel, and add adhesive. It doesn't say how to assemble these pieces, so uh, I'm assuming we're going to use brads. It's not on the list here either, but how else are you going to put them together? <laughs> so I'm going to put brads, and then um, you're going to put dimensional adhesive around the edge. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Of course, my paper's black and white, but... Um, and the other, what you get, you'll see the image really clearly. So I have these little tiny, tiny uh, round brads just because you can use larger ones. They're going to be covered up. But um, I just figure I'll use these tiny ones so that they're not in the way too much. And basically all we're going to do is take those three tabs and stick them together. Oh, let me just grab three. It doesn't even matter what color. So maybe I'll use the colors I like the least, like that bright gold. <laughs> they're going to be covered up anyway. All right. Let me move this. And we just need three of them. Okay. So, in the image, you can see that this goes on top of this, but you know, that part is however you like it to do it. Uh, I'm going to put it this way just because there was a little imperfection there. Okay. So, tiny brad. Again, it could be a regular size brad. You know, it might, might even be better. Who knows? But. That's what we want. That's the kind of thing we want because we're going to pull it and this is going to move. So I'll add the other two in the same way. Just put them on the back and pop a brad through. And I'll be right back. This feels so nice and sturdy. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. This is so cute. <laughs> this keeps moving around. Okay, so again, we're working on the inside of the card and this is going to top it and look really nice and neat. So um, that's what we're doing right now. But we're going to put these pieces here and basically this here. And we're going to add a dimensional adhesive around the edge. And this is what's going to hold this in place until we get our other piece there. So we need these two little brackets. 
And what I'm looking at is just making sure that this looks nice in here. Yeah, something like that. What I want to see is, yeah, okay. That part doesn't quite matter. Uh, we're just gonna put our little bracket. Um, you are gonna trim this down. And that's basically, it's longer than you need. That way when you put this in, you don't have to like, okay, where is this? I have to really make sure this is on point. You know, you don't. So um, that's nice that it has a little extra kind of built in extra. Now, you know, I like wet glues. If you want to use a dry glue or a, you know, tape runner, um, red liner, go ahead. Let me get this glue going. There we go. And I'm just gonna put it kind of on the tip because again, it's a wet glue. I don't want it to squeeze all over the place. But you can see there's little marks there, two little tick marks. That's how much glue you need to have. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. Okay, and these are just gonna help us hold this guy down. So I'm just looking at those little tick marks and just holding down on either side. So I'm using the little marks that are on there to help me kind of see where that might need to go. And we're gonna put one here. I'll do the same thing, put the little glue and place it here, okay? So when I come back, they'll have set up because I am using wet glue, I gotta wait for it to dry. I'll be right back. Okay, and as I was holding it, I just kinda made sure that it's free because you don't want to, um, again, <laughs> glue those down. And then I have some uh, foam tape. You can use individual pieces of foam adhesive, you know, just make it into little strips, cut it down, however it is that you need that to be. I have these pieces, so that's what I'm gonna use, but um, again, even like the pieces that are in the, the kit would work. I would just put a few one after the other. And we're gonna line this whole thing. So I'm just gonna go from here to here to here. All around the edges, okay? So here, a little piece, going this way and come this way and I'll be right back. Okay guys, super easy. <laughs> I'm just, this is so cute. Um, so there's that, right? So it's free. So what we're gonna do is bring this guy over. I did take the backs off of this. Now if you don't wanna do that because you feel like maybe I'll do, you'll do it at the end, go ahead. If you are going to do inking or anything on this background, this is what's gonna be behind our little, our little characters like this. We do have um, a cloud die in here, which I'm probably gonna cut, but you can also use that same cloud die, cut out a little cloud and do the inking around the cloud. So it's more of something that's in the background but not an actual piece of cloud. I hope that makes sense. Um, but for now, what I'm gonna do is just lift these guys up. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. I don't know how else I can. Just gonna grab the next one and pop it through the tab and the next one. And that's kind of why that little puller is so long because um, they want to give you a chance to line this up. You don't have to know exactly where it is and then do it. Now, I probably should have not have taken the backs off of this sticky stuff yet, but I did, so here we go. All right, I'm gonna start with I'm eyeballing this bottom left corner. I know I'm not letting it go yet. And kind of looking over here. There we go. Let me get my hand away from this. There we go, there we go. I think that's better. So cute. Okay, sorry. It was hard for me to talk. And, you know, you gotta hold your your face the right way for something like this. Okay. So okay, cute. Guys, sorry, as I picked it up, I was like, ah, it's a little bit off. So I had to, I undid it and kind of pulled it down, which is not ideal. So what I would say, since I'm working on this the first time, is leave your plastic strips on your um, on your uh, background there, and then pull it as you need. So let's say I, I laid it on here. I think, okay, this looks good. I would lift it up and just take that little strip off, stick it down. Take the little strip off, stick it down, okay? And that would just make it easier. So I just kind of adjusted it. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna cover this up anyway, so. Um, I do wanna show you though the little pull mechanism. Oh my gosh, you guys, how cute. Okay, so um, it does say to trim the lever to the card edge. Now I wanna be very clear on this part because I don't want you to trim it and then not have enough. The little pieces are standing straight up. Hopefully you can see that. So with the little pieces standing straight up, I will go ahead and trim it. But that's what I was telling you. They gave you extra because that way you don't have to actually line this up. You know, you just get tucked in there and then you're gonna you're gonna adjust it and get it going. So um, you know, 
just have them straight up, I suppose, like this. That's probably a good spot. Let me see. And then trim it. I'm still gonna leave a little bit just in case I mess something up, but I'm gonna do that. Okay, and see, I'm leaving a little bit longer than necessary. Um, and that's it, guys, that's our base. So now when we pull, yeah, you still have plenty of pull tab. So cute. All right. Um, so now we're gonna die cut our animals and assemble, it says. So let's look at our little animal pieces here. Again, we have the little faces, um, the little heads, they're basically all the same heads. So I'm gonna cut out several different ones. They have like a little lamb, a little uh, bunny and a chick and I suppose I will do the same. So I'll cut out three of these in different colors. Um, you know, the little eggs for each one, probably in white or even that pearlescent white would be cute. So I'll probably do a pearly shell. Um, you know, the little eyes, um, what they're showing is you're gonna have a little piece and they're really, really simple. So the little body pieces are all right here. And then if you have your rabbit, obviously rabbit ears and then all these other extra pieces that will help you create different little animals. Um, but I'm gonna cut all those pieces out and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have pretty much most of my little body pieces here. So I'll show you a few of them, uh, how I wanna put them together. I do have some little black accent pieces that are gonna help us put a little black piece behind their eye. So like with the bunny, I have them here in gray. I will just cut a little piece of black paper there and I'll adhere that here. And all of the little accent pieces for the face are on this one die right here. So I kind of kept it together so I wouldn't lose anything when I brought it over here because there are several pieces. Like this is the duck bill, which is in pink right now. I don't need that. But there are pieces for my rabbit here and there are pieces for um, uh, the little lamb or however you want to use them. Some of them are interchangeable. So I'm just going to pop those out. And that's for our little lammy. I have a little piece here. So I'll have to run this through again, possibly. Looks like there might be two little noses on there already, so that's really nice. Okay, um, and our rabbit, of course, he has little rabbit ears. I did everything in gray, but, you know, whatever color you like your little animal to be would be great. And if you want to give them dimension, that's fine too, but it looks really cute already, kind of dimensional, just with those pieces kind of layered the way they are. And I'll put his little body on. Just put a little glue down. And you're not gonna see their little legs. I'm assuming if you wanna use this on other cards, you can, you'll have their little legs at the bottom, but these guys are gonna be like sitting in eggs. So we're not gonna see too much of that. And if you wanna tilt their heads or do anything cute, you can definitely do that or just put them straight on like I'm doing here. And then his little hands in the back. Um, it does recommend if you wanna use a white gel pen to give like little accent features. But for now, I'm just kind of putting that together. So cute. And this one here. Maybe he's waving hi, you know, whatever it is that you want to do with your little characters. And the last couple little bits he needs are his ear pieces. Now you can put the glue, um, you know, on those little pieces, you can put it on the ears, and maybe I should have added them before I've stuck his ears down, but here we go. And I'm gonna take these little guys, pop that right on there, straighten that out a little bit. So cute. And I went with a bright pink, but if you want to do a lighter pink, obviously that would look lovely too. And the one on the other side. Oopsie. So cute. And then just a little pink dot. So I like the way they put this all together because like I said, for the lamb, we do need some of these pieces and we need a little, well, you can do a pink mouth or whatever color or nose. Um, the only other one I have to run through again is just this one to get a, an orange beak. So I'll put that to the side, I don't need that, but I do have a little scrap of orange sitting here. So I'll run that through in just a second. So we have our little rabbit and um, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get our little ducky together again. 
a little black piece behind the eyes. I think that'll work. Yep. And then same as everything else, we're just gonna pop <laughs> looks like a little censored mark there. Alright. And then I have his little ducky bill there. I'll still put that on later. We're gonna put his little neck on. So cute. And this one, and he's so simple. It's just those few little pieces and it just makes him pop. He's so cute. And then I'll put a little dab of glue for his little beak. And his little arms. <laughs> so cute. They just come to life with all those little pieces. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down, let him dry for a second, and we'll do our little lamb. Okay, and for our little lamb, I just saved some time. I put the black behind his eyes already. I put his little hands on his body. It's the same as everything else. Um, his little body is gonna have a little extra piece that we can pop in. And that's all on one die also, all the little ear and body pieces for him. So that's uh, another smart piece that's just put together. I like when companies think about, okay, what's going to be cut and then they do that so that it makes sense. Um, and then this piece here, I'll put glue on. I suppose for the black on the eyes, you could put it behind this piece if you wanted. I just put it behind the purple piece, so. Just adorable. And then for his little ears, we have these guys, again, the pink from the nose came out the first time I ran it through, so I have that. I'm just going to put some glue on there and get his little pink pieces, make sure they're facing the right way. Put that little guy there. Oh, you know what? It might go the other way. I was just looking at the shape of the ear. You see this one kind of melts into this side a little better, so just doing that. And that one here. That looks a little better. And then we're gonna put all those together. So I'll go ahead and put his little body on. So cute. And then little ears in the back of the head. You can put these on however you like, of course. They put them down, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Adorable. Look at that. And put a little bit more of it showing. And maybe here. Oh, his little lammy ears. So cute. There we go. And then he just needs his little nose. And like I said, I have a black and white copy, but um, on your copy, you'll be able to see kind of where they accented the little guys with white gel pen. So if you want to do that, uh, have a white gel pen here, you can just take it and just add a little more texture to the little characters. Something like that. And they have some like over here. You can do that to all the different characters just to give them a little, little extra touch. Um, so I'll take a moment to do that, kind of go around each one do a little something and I'll be right back. These are so adorable. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is add our eggs and basically they're all gonna be sitting in an egg. So however you wanna do that, I'm just gonna put a little glue on them. And the egg can be straight, it can be crooked. However you wanna you know, design these little guys to look in your little egg would be adorable. And remember they're gonna move. So if they're a little bit sideways, they're gonna move in different ways. But let's just say he's like that. And let's just make him. <laughs> straight up and down. And then, you know, I'm looking at the image here, but you can put your little cracked egg tops however you like. I'll put that there. And I'm gonna go through all my little guys, put them in their egg, and then just choose a spot to put their little, their little cracked egg top. Okay, <laughs> so cute. Okay. I'll be right back. We have our little cuties here. We have our card base. We have 
um, I cut a piece of paper just through the grass at the bottom. That's number basically step six. I'm just going to get it ready. Um, it doesn't really say how wide to cut this. So I did five and a half because obviously you want it as long as the card. Um, and then I'm going to uh, use the die and I cut it at one and three quarters de uh, depth. If we need to trim that down, I'll trim that down, but that's just my guess for right now. So I'm gonna put this on here. And then we're also gonna cut that little tab out of the um, this area. So uh, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. I'll run this through with that little grass that comes in our kit. And a little bit higher just in case. So again, five and a half by one and three quarters is what I cut this at. We might have to make an adjustment on that. And then I'm gonna cut out some little clouds. I just grabbed some white paper, so I'm gonna cut out some of the clouds and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have that piece here and I think that's gonna work out because as you can see, it covers that whole bottom section and then just a little bit past where the little mechanism is. We're gonna pop this up on foam uh, tape also. So um, I'm just gonna put this on the very back here and kind of eyeball where that might need to go. And then just tape that down and run it. I think that's pretty good. Right there. <laughs> so that's how I'm gonna do that. Straighten it out. And run that through and I'll be right back. All right, we have our little guys. And this is uh, the last step before we really finish it up. Um, I do have some clouds and things I would like to put down. So maybe I'll put those down first. Again, the little clouds from the set there, I think it'd be cute. And you see about how big these guys are just to kind of have better placement. So you can see that back there and maybe this one back here so that the, his little head's not completely covering it up. And then we have this guy here. Oh, so cute. Okay, that's probably good. So let me glue those down. And then I'll be right back. So that's all I'm gonna do is just kind of glue these down. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just glue our pieces down. I'm gonna put the glue on this, I believe. <laughs> and I'm just putting it so his little egg is just under that. Okay. And of course, just making sure I'm not gluing it down. So just making sure that it's still free. And I'll do the same thing for the other guys. Just put some glue on our little stick. If you want to use a dry glue, you know, go for it. And just again, making sure I'm not gluing it down, just gluing it to that little stick. And I'll be right back. Hey guys, okay, so it does say to put down your little characters and to test it, but look how cute. <laughs> oh, I should have shown you guys this at the beginning. Adorable. Um, it looks like they're floating in the sky right now, so cute. Okay, again, I didn't cut this completely flush, so I just wanted to make sure at the very end, you know, where I want to cut it, so I'm not there yet. This piece we are going to use foam tape and I put it all on the bottom just because I want to show you what I think about when I go to put something like this together. Um, I could have put tape all over this and then gone to put it down and then, oh no, I'm going to tape my little guys down, right? So make sure to get your piece and just see where the tape should probably end, you know, uh, your foam tape. So for me, it's probably around here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Make sure I clear those little guys. I don't want to tape them down. Oopsie. So I'm gonna go pretty low. Um, again, that's because the size uh, that I cut my paper, but you know, your paper might be a little bit different, but I think that uh, five and a half by one three quarters, that was pretty spot on. I think that's pretty good. Um, and if you want to put another little piece of tape over here just to help you kind of stabilize that little area, that's fine. I just want you to know to clear your little animals. You don't want them to get stuck down. So if we wanna put another piece here, great. I'm gonna take the backs off of this and I'll be right back. I took all the backs off of the tape. And again, I'm just gonna keep an eye. Hopefully I don't have to move it again like I did the first time. But I think we're good. Oh my goodness, <laughs> how flippin' adorable. Look at them sitting in their little grass. So cute. Yay, yay, yay. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this? <sighs> so again, do you wanna put this on a card base? You know, you can stick it down completely. I would just notch out that card base too, or um, 
Or just make the card base smaller, right, in the back. It doesn't matter. And so when someone still opens it. Or you just write your sentiments on the back, however you like to use it. This is adorable. <laughs> Can you imagine using this for just any other character that you have or your other die? Like I said, uh, it comes with all these different options so that you can kind of mess around and make your own um, slim line, you know, however you want to use it, five by seven. I mean, you can extend it out however you like. Oh my gosh, this is too adorable. So for me, if I'm gonna have them straight up right here, then I could trim this down a little bit, but you know what? I don't think it really needs it. But if I wanted to, I could trim off a little bit more off of this guy. All right, so we have uh, some sentiments and I think I will use, we have um, hello peeps and spring. So we can do hello spring, hello peeps, however you like. Um, of course, hello peeps is adorable. So what I'm going to do is probably cut that out in the same pink color I use for their little noses because I think that's cute. And also in gold just for a drop shadow. So I will be right back. Okay, so like I said, I cut the color out in that pink kind of coral color and then also in gold and just um, putting a little glue on the back. I already did the hello part, but again, you can put glue on the back of your hand and dab, dab, dab to make it a little neater, a little easier. I think that's good enough there. And then I'll drop shadow it. So I'll do this one the same as the, the other one, which I did kind of to the right and down. And I just kind of eyeball it from one side to the other because sometimes, depending on how you die cut, they can come out a little bit different. So I'm kind of pulling it and then making sure the E's are where I want them. And I just kind of mess with them until it looks good. And I'll be right back. And all that's left is I'll stick it down here. And again, just a little glue on the back. And you could have done that before you stuck down your grass or however you want. But like I said, anything that you want to do that's, you know, inking and stuff like that, do it prior to <laughs> sticking it down, of course. So I hope you guys see why I was so anxious to get to this one. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. So thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for my review. Keep an eye out. Probably later today I'll have um, a couple other, or at least one other um, review tutorial um, on the card kit or the APG. And... We'll go from there. So I'm going to stick this one down. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the links in the description box. If you have any questions, please leave them there. Um, but hopefully some of the tips that you know you came across as I was working on it will help you out. And it, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.